Psalm 122 is very much one of those psalms of ascent, as they're known as. The psalms that were chanted on the way to Jerusalem. And that's what this psalm is all about, saying how wonderful it is that we're going to Jerusalem. Not so much the city, it's not that really they're talking about. It's the temple. They're going to worship the Lord. Let me just read it to you. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. And now we are standing here, inside your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a well-built city, knit together as a single unit. All the people of Israel, the Lord's people, make their pilgrimage here. They come to give thanks to the name of the Lord, as the law requires. Here stand the thrones where judgment is given, the thrones of the dynasty of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May all who love this city prosper. O Jerusalem, may there be peace within your walls and prosperity in your palaces. For the sake of my family and friends, I will say, peace be with you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek what is best for you, O Jerusalem. It does come across as very Jerusalem-centred, doesn't it? May there be peace in Jerusalem. I will seek what is best for Jerusalem. But as I say, this is all about where the temple is. And it's really as if Jerusalem as a city is just there to uh, protect the temple. And the temple is there to allow worship, corporate worship of God. And that's what it's all about. You see how it starts? I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. And the same applies to us. It is a wonderful thing to be able to come to God in worship. It is a really wonderful thing to be able to come to God together in a corporate way, as a body of people, to worship God. We've come to really appreciate that of recent times, haven't we? They say you don't know what you've got until you lose it. Well, these last few months we haven't been able to worship together and we've missed it, haven't we? Well, when we are able to come back together, we'll really appreciate it. But until then, we can still worship God. And it is a wonderful, gladsome thing. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Well, the house of the Lord can be your house, or your garden. It can be where you are walking down the street. The house of the Lord is where he lives. And if you belong to the Lord, then he lives in you. You are the house of the Lord. And that's an amazing thought, isn't it? But it means that we can come to worship him at any time, in any place, because we're there with him already. And so, aren't you glad that you can worship the Lord? Yes, I'll be extra glad when we can worship him together. But let's worship him here and now. Oh Lord God, it is an amazing thing that you have deigned to come and live amongst us, indeed in us. And so we worship you because we are here with you and we are becoming more and more aware every day of how amazing you were, how all-powerful, 
how wonderful and how good and holy you are. We worship you, Lord our God.